Hello Red Brick Productions here with another LEGO review. Today I have the LEGO City, LEGO City Stunts gift set. The set number is 66707. It has 40 pieces and it's a 3-in-1. It comes with these three stunt bikes and a LEGO travel case. Without further ado, let's take a look at the bikes first. So here's the first LEGO City Stunt Bike. It's the Wheelie Stunt Bike. The set number is 60296. And yes, you do have this box included basically inside that box with three other boxes and the travel case. And inside that is the instructions, which just tells you how to build the set. And of course, an ad for the other stunt bikes tells you how to work these things. But now let's take a look at the individual. So here's a stunt bike, and this looks really cool. We have a really cool death kind of printing there. And obviously this is how all stunt bikes work. You roll it back, or you roll it forward, sorry, and they shoot off. Of course, the more you do it, the more intense it gets. And yeah, super cool. And of course, the wheel goes like this. Whee! And yeah, so that's why it's called the wheelie stunt bike because you have this extra wheel, which I guess will help it if it flies back, which it does occasionally. But that's it for the bike. I mean, there's not really much to it. We'll take a look at the minifigures later. Here's the next LEGO City stunt bike. It's the Demolition Stunt Bike. The set number is 60297. And yeah, let's... That's the box and the instructions are the same as the last one, except it tells you how to build this guy. Exactly like the last figure, this bike works the exact same, where if you pull it like that, it shoots off. And there's a really cool front uh, printing right there with the light broken off, and we'll take a look at this figure later. However, this one doesn't have any additional stuff, but yeah, anyway, they're just fun. I know they're, these are kind of quick reviews, but there's not much else to this guy. And the last motorcycle in this set is set number 60298, the Rocket Stunt Bike. And yeah, let's take a look. So here's the motorcycle, and this one has a lot more printing than the others. It has an RR on the side, probably for like Rocket Rider or something like that. I don't know, I'm probably wrong. But we have a flame on the back, and yeah, this looks super cool. And of course, it has the same feature as all the other ones. Let's see if it can go super fast. Yeah, it can go actually pretty fast, except for it gets stuck. Um, if you don't have, and it keeps going. These are super fun to play around with, actually. I really like these bikes. Um, but now let's take a look at the minifigures. So here's the first minifigure, and this comes with this bike over here. But she looks super cool. I love the cheetah printing on the legs, too. And that shoulder piece is awesome. The torso printing looks great. Look at that. Like all those stickers on there and that monster. I love the belt buckle. And the face print looks really cool with that tongue sticking out. And then she also has an alternate face where she's smiling. Look how cool that looks. But my favorite part is she comes with an alternate hair piece, which is this blue, which looks super cool on her. Look at that. And then turn around, boom. And this does come with the set, so that is awesome. And so, yeah, you can still wear your helmet, but also have hair. So thank you, Lego, for including those. Now let's take a look at the next minifigure. So here's the next minifigure, and this guy is super cool. He has no leg printing, which is kind of unfortunate, but the torso printing looks super cool with that belt that matches his visor. And on the back, it continues around, and this also matches up with his shoulder pads, which is super cool. It's like a whole little football type pad, you know, super cool. I love the visor. This looks super cool, but even cooler is that face print. Look at that. Since this is the demolition bike, he has like a bandage on and teeth missing, but he also has an alternate face where he doesn't look as beaten up and more confident. And yeah, that's what he looks like with that. However, he does include an alternate hairpiece, which if I just place on, looks super cool like that. And then facing this way, looks even cooler. Yeah, I really like how this figure turned out and I really love the face print and the torso printing. I also really like the helmet. Overall, I think this is a really good figure. This is the Rocket Rider and this minifigure looks awesome with the alternate arms there. The torso printing's good, but there's not much. It's pretty minimal, just got the logo there. I love the helmet printing though up there. No leg printing, very nice red visor. When you take it off, he just has one face, no alternate, unfortunately. He's kind of one of the lower quality mini, well, not quality, just less detailed minifigures. So he also has an alternate hair piece, which I really like this hair piece. It looks pretty good in his face. Pretty looks good, but yeah, yeah very detailed minifigure, but, um, or not a very detailed minifigure, but not bad in quality. But anyway, let's take a look at the travel case. So here's the travel case, and this is just yellow 
with like the school bus orange right there or school bus yellow there and some red hinges and when you open this up this half pops down and there's a lot of dividers this one got bent for some reason i must have like misused it in some way i gotta work on fixing that but you got lots of dividers and plenty of space to put bikes you know you got bike here bike here bike here and a bunch of minifigures, you know, up here and up here. I even have the um, bathtub bike from a different set. This one, this one's not included. I have to say not included in the set, but you know, you can put all your stump bikes in here and take it on the go. But this is a super cool inclusion. And you can arrange these little um, dividers. Sorry, I'm a little demolition guy. Yeah, I gotta fix this one, but you can arrange all these dividers because they have different slots where you can put them in. So I can put this one up here, put this one down here, which is where I put it because it makes the most symmetrical type shape um, if it will go in. Sometimes they can be a little tricky, but you know, they're not too difficult to work with. This system is pretty straightforward. There we go. Now it's not bent. And yeah, overall looks really cool and I love getting this travel case. But now let's take a look at the packaging and then my final verdict. So here is the box and it shows that in the corner that, oh man, you can barely see it. It says three in one, free Lego travel case included. And you got the three bikes here. And this is just super weird. Also, it says only at Walmart. So this is a Walmart exclusive. You can see my monitor there. And then it shows the three boxes that you get. It shows that all those sets come in and you get this. And yeah, really awesome. Like this is such an odd find. I was randomly walking through Walmart and I saw it on the shelf and it just caught my eye because it was like three stunt bikes in one. And I was like, what? And then, yeah, you already saw the packaging of the mini boxes. You know, they're just the regular packaging and the instructions just tell you how to build it. But yeah, now let's take a look at my final verdict. So for my final verdict, I have nothing but praise for this set because not only do you get three awesome stunt bikes, which have great minifigures, great like fun play features, you know, like this is such a fun little system that they have going. I love this, but you also get this free travel case, which is just a really cool inclusion. I love collecting these. I think I have three of them, including this one because I have the Emmett and Wild style ones from the Lego movie too. Um, but yeah, this set is great. And guess how much it was? $15, which is incredible because what these are each eight dollars a like a pop so this eight 16 24 i can do math but um 24 dollars for these individually you get them for 15 dollars which if i'm correct that's nine dollars off plus a travel case like that's crazy that is such a good deal and i didn't pass up on this because it was 15 dollars like i'm not i mean i know for some people that could be a lot but for me that's not that much and that's very fortunate, of course. And yeah, this is just such a good set. If you like the stunt bikes and you see this at Walmart, I would recommend picking it up. I mean, it's not too expensive. It's not $30, it's not $100, you know, it's 15. So that's a pretty great deal and you get a lot of really cool bikes. Plus all the minifigures come with their hair pieces, which I think is really awesome. Now that is granted just the set. So if you just get this one, it will come with the hair piece, you know. But I love getting the travel case. I love this set. This was an amazing find. Anyway, I that's it for this review. Just an A plus for me all around. No complaints whatsoever. So if you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. And I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts about the set in the comments below. Will you guys get it? Anyway, see you in my next video. Peace out. Bye.